so welcome all so today we will be discussing about unified power flow controller that is upfc now as per the i triple definition we can define upfc so a upfc is a combination of a static synchronous compensator statco that we have already discussed in the previous lectures and a static series compensator triple sc which are coupled via a common dc link right so uh, upfc is a combination of state com and static series compensator right and these both are connected via a common capacitor dc capacitor and they are used to control the bidirectional flow of dl power between the series output terminal of triple sc and the shunt output terminal of state com so they are used to control the dl power and they are also controlled to provide concurrent real and reactive series line compensation so they are the upfc is used to control the real time real and reactive power in the transmission line so upfc can used to control the series voltage injection and by injecting the voltage in series it can control the real and reactive power flow in the transmission line now the upfc may also provide independent control control level shunt reactive compensation so at the single time it can control the real power as well as reactive power and independently both real and reactive power now we will discussing about the principle of operation we know that the upsc is most versatile device most versatile flex controller developed so far right it can control the voltage regulation series compensation as well as phase shifting and it can independently control both real and reactive power flow in the transmission line now the upfc consists of the two voltage source converter right one one is known as series converter and another no, another one is known as shunt converter and both are coupled with the help of a dc terminal right so converter one which is connected in shunt will work like as a state com and it is connected in shunt with the help of a coupling transformer the other vsc voltage source converter two which is inserted in the series with the transmission line through an interface transformer right so here is a diagram of converter one and the converter two so converter one is connected with the help of a supply transformer in the shunt of the transmission line and the converter 2 is connected to the transmission line with the help of a series transformer right and both converter 1 and converter 2 have a common dc capacitor or dc voltage source so converter 1 will rectify the voltage that is, that it will take from the supply transformer and feed the rectified voltage to the converter 2 where the converter 2 will invert that dc voltage into ac and inject this voltage into the series of the transmission line it can change or it can regulate the magnitude of vpq from 0 to vpq max at the same time it can independently control the phase angle of the voltage vpq from 0 to 360 degree right so it can control both the magnitude as well as phase angle of the voltage by controlling this two it can control the real as well as reactive power of the transmission line now as we have discussed that the dc voltage for both converter is provided by a common capacitor bank right and the series control converter is controlled to inject a voltage vpq right and the volt the phase angle of the vpq is from 0 to 360 degree right the series converter exchange both real and reactive power with the transmission line right and we know that the reactive power can be generated internally or absorbed internally by the series converter but the real power generation and absorption can be made feasible only with the help of a dc energy storage device that is capacitor now we'll be discussing about the modes of operation we already discussed that how it can inject the voltage in series with the help of converter 
and this injected voltage can be changed or can be varied in the magnitude as well as in the phase angle right so figure a shows us that how the voltage vpq is injected to existing bus voltage v naught at an angle that varies from 0 to 360 degree so this angle can be changed from 0 to 360 degree if it is injected at this point then the voltage vpq or the phase angle of the voltage vpq is 0 degree and it can be changed from 0 to 360 degree right in the phasor diagram second the voltage regulation is affected by if vpq is equal to del of v naught is generated in phase with v naught right so by injecting the voltage we can change the magnitude of v naught now in the figure c a combination of voltage regulation and the series compensation is implemented right the vpq is a sum of the voltage regulating component del v naught and a series compensation providing voltage compen component vc that lags behind the line current by 90 degree so by <coughs> doing this we can control the voltage regulation as well as the series compensation and in the last figure the phase shifting process is shown the upfc generate voltage vpq is a combination of voltage regulating component del v naught and a phase shifting voltage component v of a so by doing this we can change the load angle or delta of the voltage now we know that the function of va is to change the phase angle of the regulated voltage by a phasor v naught plus del of v by an angle alpha right here we can see that the va change the voltage va change the phase angle of the regulated voltage phasor now the controller of the upfc can select either one of the combination of three function as it is control objective depending upon the system requirement so it can independently control one of the three function it can it can be working as a one function as a combination of one and two function and as a combination of one two and as well as three function so it can perform simultaneously all the three function two of three function or one of three function there are several constraints that have been controlled by the upfc the very first one is the series injected voltage magnitude the second one is the line current through the series converter the third one is the shunt converter current the fourth one is the minimum line side voltage of upfc the fifth one is the maximum line side voltage of upfc and the last one is the real power transfer between the series converter and the shunt converter so this all six function are performed with the help of upfc thanks